Well, hello, hello, friends. Bless you. Bam, bam, bam. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. I'm happy to be back into his house. What's up? Well, you can... <clears throat> Obviously, I see I am in a good mood. <laughs> By the grace of God. Uh, got a little shot of that tongue twist in here in the name of Jesus. Well, I'm happy to be back in the studio for a bit. The Lord is good. I want to... Uh, talk to you today about the graduation season that we are in. We are in a season of graduation. And I believe that many of you watching, you are upgrading. You're going to the next level. You're getting promoted. Can I get an amen? So I want to talk to you about graduation season. It's happening in the natural, but also supernaturally, in the prophetic. Um, all the stupid warfare, all the nonsense, dramas, the issues of the heart, you've passed the test and you're breaking through. Uh, you've pressed on, you've pushed through, amen. So I want to talk to you about the graduation season of greater glory that's in the air, that's in the atmosphere. Truly, God's doing a, a new thing. He's doing a great thing. So I want to talk to you today about the graduation season that's happening prophetically in the spirit, amen. So let me know where you're watching from. Give some hearts and likes. Our broadcast today will not be very long. It'll just be about 30 minutes. But uh, I just came back from Arizona, had a great weekend in Arizona, very short, sweet, powerful, full on as always. And uh, now I'm back home in L.A. for today and tomorrow. Then Wednesday, I fly off to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. East Coast, what's up? I'm going to be in Harrisburg, East Coast area this weekend. Very excited about that. Looking forward to that. I haven't back, been in the East Coast, Pennsylvania area for a hot minute. So let me know where you're watching from. It's Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. I'm excited to be here. I'm, I'm happy. I'm excited. Uh, I feel quite refreshed, even though it's been a full-on week. I, I guess I feel better because I didn't fly off too early this morning. I guess that helps. <clears throat> Hello there, Fiji. Bless you. Bula. I hope to be back in Fiji later this year. Amen. Jersey, what's up, D? Cleveland, Ohio, bless you. Believe it or not, I've never been to Ohio. I was invited earlier this year to go to Ohio, but it didn't work out. But in due time, BC, Canada, bless you, Sonia. Atlanta, Georgia, in the house. ICC, I heard you got a little fender bender. I'm so sorry about that. Blessings to you. Providence, Ivana. Montana, bless you. Christina Wilson, bless you. Why don't you just share and testify? Because I ministered on Saturday prophetically in the atmosphere that whoever's looking for a home or looking to move, there's going to be a release. So why don't you just come and testify? Glory, glory. Yes, Sacramento, bless you. Mandi scarabrasa tarabrasa tarabroso corabroso. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. My gosh. Well, people of God, real quick, before I get into this word, I want to talk to you. Uh, listen, in an hour and a half time, my gosh, it, at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard, uh, we are doing a Zoom webinar. 
uh, monthly we do these Zoom webinars. We go deep into teaching and revelation and glory, prayer, prophetic impartation. And today at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard, uh, I'm going to talk about walking in an open heavens. It's one of my favorite topics. In fact, of course, my church's name is called Open Heavens World. So today I want to talk about walking in an open heavens. It's going to be informative. It's going to be eye-opening. Uh, God's going to move very powerfully. So it's not too late for you to join. And if you're free tonight, then you can still register. So I've pinned uh, the registration link here in the chat group. Walking in an open heavens. What does it mean to walk in an open heavens? How do you walk in open heavens? What are the manifestation, the fruit, the evidence of walking in open heavens? So I want to talk to you about that. Tonight, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard is absolutely free. But you must register. So if you're joining tonight or if you're interested, I want you to comment joining or interested. It's always a wonderful family reunion. Hallelujah. Uh, to see uh, all of our beloved family from around the world in these monthly Zoom webinars. So, And in fact, um, this may be one of my, the last ones we do this year. So uh, make sure you jump in and you join. Can I get an amen? Oh, Helena, bless you from Fiji. Bless you, bless you. Amen. Glory be to God. Well, how wonderful. Christina Wilson said, we found our home today. God bless you. I can't wait to hear more about it. I know yesterday, no, Saturday at the event in Arizona, I prophesied minister, whoever is looking to move, looking for a home, stand up. And uh, you and your family rose up and boom, look at that. The Lord blessed you, answered your prayers. Can we give the Lord some praise for that? Amen. Let's give God some hearts and likes for that. In Jesus' name, awesome, Vic. Awesome, Keith Walker. Well, I want you to comment graduation season. Amen, graduation season. And I know a lot of people, you know, they talk about when generals or men and women of God, when they pass on to glory, when they die, when they go home to be with the Lord, we hope, amen, in Jesus' name, we talk about they've graduated into glory. Truly, there is no greater graduation than being... Uh, at home with the Lord Jesus Christ fully, right? Uh, Apostle Paul says uh, that when I am here, uh, let me just go to that verse here, amen, at home. But Apostle Paul <clears throat> says this verse that as long as we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord, right? So as long as we're here in the body on this earth realm, we're away from the Lord. And so, um, you know, there's a dichotomy of, of course, living from heaven, but we're still being present here on earth. And that's a beautiful duty. It's a responsibility. It's a privilege uh, to experience this earth realm. Uh, I heard a quote a couple of weeks ago, and it really stuck with me. And uh, I don't think this quote was from a spirit-filled Christian believer, but it really stuck with me. And uh, the quote is this. We are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. Let me say that again. We are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. And I thought that was incredible, just that thought process, because that's true. We're spiritual beings. Uh, we are from the Lord, and we are in this vacuum space suit, this earth suit, called the human body for a limited time space. Wait, for a limited time offer, bam, bam. And so we are having a human experience. Uh, so when we die and when we go home, and of course we don't ever die, if you died with the Lord Jesus Christ, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord, then of course his death is your death, his burial is your burial, and his resurrection is our resurrection, amen. So truly we've already died with Christ, and we've already risen again with the Lord. But we also know when the Lord Jesus, the second coming of Christ, comes when he returns again, or when it's going to be the rapture, amen, uh, we know that, in a sense, that the earthly body, the earthly shell, will fade away. However, we will have a new body, a heavenly body. All right, We will have a new shell, a new transfigured, manifested outward manifestation of our spiritual bodies, of our spirit man. Amen. 
And so that's the real graduation. But I want to declare over you that you've passed the test, that you are in a graduation season. And of course, in the natural, uh, many people have graduated in the last couple of weeks from university, college, from high school, uh, secondary, primary, whatever you want to call it, in different nations of the earth. So many people in the natural, they have graduated. But I believe prophetically, this is also a sign, say sign, of a graduation in the supernatural. I want to declare over you right now, you have graduated in the glory. You've graduated to a greater glory. Can I get an amen? And let me just talk to you just about some things that have happened with me the last two weeks. I mean, my gosh, you know, uh, all the glory goes to Jesus. But uh, I know, hear me, I know when the Lord begins to bless me and honor me in personal ways, then it's a sign, say sign, it's a sign of upgrade. It's a sign of the next level. And I know prophetically God is doing that all across the earth. Hi there, Teresa. I hope to see you in Pennsylvania later this weekend. I'm going to be in Harrisburg, York area. And so whenever the Lord does something personal with me or with our ministry, because I am the ministry, right? I, I represent our ministry. I'm the head of this ministry. And so when God does something, it it's a prophetic sign of upgrade, passing the test of graduation. And, uh, of course, in the last couple of weeks, the Lord's blessed me with some significant gifts. And uh, if you follow me on my personal page or on my Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. But I want to share this one story. I mean, you see this ring here. Amen. You see this ring. And this ring was given to me just yesterday. My gosh. What's up, Prophet Adrian? Hi there, Maurice. This ring was given to me just yesterday. And it's quite an unusual, incredible story because um, as I was ministering at House Fires Ministries in Mesa, Arizona yesterday, and I need you to hear this because there's prophetic bread, revelation, and partation as you hear the power of the testimony. Amen. And then I'm going to go to scripture. Can I get amen? And so yesterday I was ministering in Mesa, Arizona. There was a group of Hispanic people uh, that were sitting behind me in the second row. And obviously they're blinged out, right? Uh, they're more blinged out than I was, right? They're really blinged out. And during the worship, the message, I mean, they're getting hit. They're experiencing deliverance. They're weeping. They're crying. It's awesome. Hallelujah. Then at the end of the service, I'm in the foyer. I'm shaking hands with people, signing books, and I'm praying for people. I mean, there's a huge line of people wanting to receive prayer uh, afterwards, which is wonderful. Now this group comes. And his group comes, and his gentleman comes to me, and he says, you know, brother, one of my friends told me to come because one of his friends got healed in one of our meetings. And he says, one of my friends told me to come today because he got healed in one of our meetings, and this gentleman was blind in his right eye for the last six months. He was blind in his right eye for the last six months, and he said, last night, before I came to the meeting, I felt to my spirit, or I felt to my heart, you know, I'm kind of paraphrasing, butchering it. He said, I felt that I needed to give you this ring. I need to give you this ring. Now, I apologize, the camera's not zooming in properly. But he said, I, I feel like I need to give you this ring. And he said, last night, I feel like I need to give you this ring. And here you are today on Sunday, yesterday, I was talking about the currency of heaven and the law of reaping, sowing and reaping. And I reference a scripture verse, cast your bread upon the waters and due time it shall return to you. And I was just encouraging the, encouraging the church congregation with some of my personal stories of how and I am where I am today and all the glory goes to God. And I began to share yesterday at the Sunday service that, hallelujah, that I have an anointing for jewelry because people give me jewelry and I give away jewelry. And God blessed me with more jewelry. Can I get an amen? And so, last night, the gentleman feels from God to give me his ring. Now it's Sunday. I'm talking about jewelry. And he gives me this ring. Praise the Lord. He gives me this ring. He honors me, blesses me, and gives me this ring. And as he gives me this ring, 10 karat gold uh, and many diamonds here. 
And as he gives me this ring, he begins to share how his friend who was blind or had blindness got healed in my meeting. And that's why he came, because he's blind in his right eye for the last six months. Boom, I lay hands on him. I pray for him. Boom, his eye opens up. He gets healed. His whole family's weeping. Uh, the prophetic's flow, and it's 100% accurate, of course. And, uh, and it was incredible because this gentleman... God put on her heart, his heart, to give me this ring. Now, once again, I said it's graduation season. You are graduating in the glory. You're graduating to the next level. Now, last night, I'm in a meeting with my friends David and Stephanie Herzog. I haven't seen the Herzog in a long time. We're good friends. We've done a lot of things together for three years. And I haven't heard from them. You know, we haven't really talked for the last couple of years because they've been busy 100%. I've been busy. Uh, so I met with them. We had a wonderful time of conversation and connection. It was wonderful. Uh, but as I was at David and Stephanie Herzog's meeting, my friend Pastor Omar texts me. And he says, Pastor Ben, do you know who this guy is? Because there's photos of me praying for this guy. Of course, the church is already putting out the photo. I said, sorry, I don't know who this guy is. And he said, this is a famous Hispanic Mexican singer. And so, boom, I look online, their, their band is called like Los Montes de Sinai, like the mountain of Sinai. And of course, they got millions of followers. So glory be to God. I'm sharing all this because God is causing you to graduate, upgrade, and go to the next level. I believe the Lord is about to mantle you afresh. And there's going to be a fresh anointing, a fresh glory. That's about to come upon you. If you believe it and receive it, say amen. Now, like I said, in the last two weeks, I've had two significant encounters, two significant gifts, glory be to God, where God is encouraging me and honoring me. And you know what? Most of you don't notice. I didn't even say nothing publicly, but May 30th was my 14th year anniversary of establishing the church and starting my ministry officially. May 30th, 2010. I started His Way Life in Koreatown, Los Angeles. Eventually, we changed the name to Open Heavens World. And now Pastor Sharon Smith is a senior pastor of Open Heavens World. But it's exactly 14 years. Somebody say amen. My gosh, I'm getting a little emotional. It's exactly 14 years since I started the church and the ministry, May 30th, 2010. All the glory goes to Jesus. So let's give God some praise. Amen. Well, I'm so happy to see all of you. Listen, one more time. Tonight... Uh, at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard, I'm going to be doing a free Zoom webinar titled Walking in an Open Heavens. Walking in an Open Heavens. It's totally free. Uh, and we're going to go deep in teaching and revelation and, and uh, prayer and impartation of prophecy. It's going to be incredible. So make sure you sign up, all right? Like I said, if you're joining or if you're interested, comment joining or interested. It's going to be awesome. Literally right after the Facebook Live at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard. Uh, we're going to be going live on the Zoom webinar. It's it's awesome. So walking in open heavens, I want to talk to you, teach you, uh, describe how to, what it means to walk in open heavens. So it's going to be incredible. Now, Prophet Adrian Pulse, I see you, my friend. I love you, my dear covenant brother. I can't wait to be with you in Havana y Cuba very soon. So uh, keep that in prayer, guys. This month begins uh, a number of international mission trips. This month I am going to Cuba, this month in June, really in two weeks time. Then next month I go to India for two weeks. Then I go to Singapore and Indonesia, Samoa, Fiji, Maldives. It's gonna be a run, all right? It's gonna be a huge run, but all the glory goes to God, amen. Well, all right, let's talk about this, all right? Let's talk, make sure you all register for, for the Zoom webinar. So let's talk about this. Somebody say graduation season. Hallelujah, graduation season. Hey, I got another good news. Look, we got the air vents of the air conditioner opened up, come on, here in the studio, which means that I don't have to profusely sweat like a madman, like I'm in humidity in Cuba or Miami or something. Hallelujah, but now we finally got the air vents open for the air conditioner, so I get to stay cool as a cucumber, as a minister here in the studio, so I'm very happy about that. Amen, amen, and amen. Come on, Cuba Libre! Uh, bang, bang, bang. 
All right, let's go over to the Word of God. Genesis 41, 41 to 44. Now, before we read this verse, Genesis 41, 41 to 44, you know that there are levels to this thing, right? There are seasons, there's realms, there's levels. And I don't know about you, but I want to upgrade every season, okay? Every season really is a test for you to pass the test and for you to break through into the next season, right? So it's always leveled, it's always upgraded, and that's why a lot of people, they stay stuck in the old glory. They stay stuck in the old wine. They're stuck, they're not able to break through, they're not able to move forth, move out, uh, because they're not uh, shifting, they're not adjusting, say adjust, they're not adjusting uh, to the new wine, to the new method, to the new glory. And so a lot of people, they fail, or, right they get an f in class uh, they get a d they get a c you barely pass you barely make it but i want to declare over you're going to pass with flying colors you're going to pass being the top of your class you're going to top with straight a's come on somebody i'm i'm prophesying by faith amen you're you're, you're not going to barely make it no you're going to pass like you know who here knows the israelites left egypt all right, not broken, busted, and disgusted, but they left Egypt overflowing. So you're about to pass this test and graduate the season with honors, with doctorates, with masters, with bachelors, with PhDs. You're going to pass this season with flying colors, with the glory of God, if you believe it, say amen. Now, I believe that many of us, we have just passed a major test of a season of testing and pressing, right? Uh, a major season of testing and pressing where our patience uh, has been, you know, uh, getting pressed, our, our patience, our, our, our faith, right? Maybe you've been a little cranky, a little hangry, a little, right? But, but now we've graduated, and as we've graduated, there's a new glory, a new mantle that's coming over the church, all right? If you know what I'm talking about, say amen. Now, if you feel the graduation spirit, the celebration of graduation in the air, I want you to comment, that's me. And I just want to honor and celebrate you. Well done, all right, uh, faithful servant of God, because you've passed the last test. And now you're graduating, being upgraded, being promoted, getting called up higher. You're, you are getting promoted to a higher level realm and position, if you believe that same amen. And like I said, I've had two significant encounters Things that have happened to me, actually, I would say three. Can I get an amen? Three things. And, uh, you know, this signet ring that I shared the story about, that's just one of them. That is a prophetic uh, evidence in the natural of what God's doing in the supernatural, in the spiritual. Amen. Kalena and Joel, I missed you guys this weekend. Praise the Lord. All right, well, let's go to this verse here. Genesis 41, 41 to 44. You know this passage. I love the story of Joseph. And once again, there's levels, realms, and seasons to this thing. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, See, I have set you over all the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh took his signet ring. Bang, bang, look at that. Took his signet ring, and now I'm going to need a new gold bracelet, by the way, or, or a new gold watch. Amen. The Lord knows. Then Pharaoh took his signet ring from his hand and put it on Joseph's hand. Bam. And clothed him in garments of fine linen, and put a gold chain around his neck, and he made him ride in his second chariot, say second chariot. And they called out before him, bow the knee, thus he set him over all the land of Egypt. Moreover, Pharaoh said to Joseph, I am Pharaoh, and without your consent, no one shall lift up hand or foot in all of Egypt. So obviously Joseph graduated. Finally, hear me now, finally, prophecy has come to pass. Finally, the promise, the vision, the dream that God gave Joseph has come to pass. Now, obviously, it was a long time coming, right? A lot of years, right? A lot of years of suffering, betrayal, uh, backstabbing by his brothers, being alone, falsely accused, being in prison, from the pits to the prison, excuse me, from the pit to Potiphar's house, to the prison, to the palace. So there's levels to this. Now, I want to encourage you that many of you are about to be promoted and graduated. You're about to graduate. Amen. You're about to graduate, but it's setting you up for the next season. It's setting you up for the next realm. It's setting you up for the next season. And I believe 
actually, it's the next season of three months, okay? It's the next season of the summer season. The next three months of summer, it's going to get lit. It's going to get, it's going to get beyond like Donkey Kong. It's, it's truly a summer revival, a summer of glory, a summer of harvest. Amen. And so the next three months is a gearing up or a setting up all the way up to Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, the 10 days of all. Then after the three, four month season, of course, we're going to be Ending this year, Hebrew year, 5784, then we step into 5785. Then, of course, we have two, three months left of 2024. So we are in a very critical, crucial six-month season, six-month period. And I believe that God is mantling, anointing, he's upgrading, amen, and he's releasing a new glory over our lives. Hallelujah, because the old cannot carry or take us into the new. I want to say I've graduated. I want to say I've graduated. Amen. Now, the very definition, all right, the very definition of graduation is receiving or conferring, that's a big word, of an academic de degree or diploma. Conferring. Now, what does that word conferring mean? Let's go into that. To confer, oh, I like this. To confer means to grant or to bestow. Amen. It means to grant or to bestow. So in this season, God is granting. He is bestowing. Now think about like a grant, right? What is a grant? A grant is like a scholarship. A grant is like a, a fund. A grant is a favor. It can be a financial favor. So there is a granting and a bestowing and enabling a mantling that is coming over you and upon the body of Christ. So to be to graduate, it means that you are being granted weapons, tools, certificates, degrees, papers, gifts, graces. Come on, somebody say amen. I feel the Holy Ghost. You are being given, bestowed, entrusted. You are, you are receiving access to a whole new shed of tools, to a whole new garage of weapons. You're given access to a whole new tier level of donors, funders, scholars. My gosh. Somebody say grant. To be granted something, it is quite a... Um, it is quite a, what, what's the right word? It's not really a common word, but it's more like a sophisticated word, like a governmental word or a legal word. How about that? Like a business legal term to be granted. Now, God is releasing grants. And how about this? God is releasing grants. Grants. God is releasing grants and grants. Amen and amen. Bam, bam. If you receive that, say amen. Grants and grants. There is a granting of favor and grants of funds. And there are grants. You know what grants means? Grandiose, grand as in great, but also grants as in money, as in funds, finances. So the Lord is releasing legal tender, tender documents to confirm, affirm of your upgrade. It's going to be noticeable. It's going to be seen. It's going to be visible. It's going to be obvious. The promotion of Joseph, hallelujah, was public. It's going to be made public. It's going to be seen all across the earth. Amen. Now, in this graduation season, hear me now, number one, as you graduate, number one, it means that you've upgraded to a new level, all right? It means that you upgraded to a new level. I want you to write that forth. In the season of graduation, it means that you've upgraded to a new level. You've broken through to a higher dimension. Your mentality has upgraded. Your thinking, your thought process has changed. So number one, in the season of graduation, 
you've upgraded, you've come up to a higher level, to a higher place. I want to say my vision is changing. What's up, Rob? Bless you. Number two, when you upgrade to a new level, there is a public promotion. Amen. I'm telling you, friends, God's about to make it public. All right? The things that happen to you and against you is very personal to God. Now, I need you to hear this. God takes it very personally and very seriously. When somebody talks about you, when someone, when there's an injustice, when something negative happens, God takes it very personally. You are the apple of his eye, which means he takes matters into his own hands. Unless you squander it, unless you, uh, you know, take it into your own hands and you ruin it. But if you trust in God as your defender, as your vindicator, then he takes matters into his own hands. He takes it very personally. So there's going to be public promotion, public vindication and that's even something that happened with me and my friends yesterday doctors uh david and stephanie herzog i haven't seen them for a few years and uh, i was wondering what happened and i'm just being real right now real talk limb i was wondering does something happen but we had a great conversation and it was beautiful and it, it was just wonderful very heartfelt genuine and they're real, they're, he's a real man and woman of God, Stephanie Herzog, David Herzog. So there was a public restoration. God's going to do it publicly. Amen. Number three, when you graduate, hallelujah, that means that there is a greater authority on your life. Okay. Now, what does that mean, greater authority? It means that you become a greater trusted voice. Okay. Now, I know, you know, in a sense, a degree is just a piece of paper, but it actually stands for an accreditation. Because he trusts in the names of Harvard or Yale or Princeton or, or Stanford or he used to before they got woke and got broke, right? But because of those, the legitimacy of academia of those names, that standard and that level is a realm of credibility that gives honor that gives trust and also uh, begins to give you an authority. Now, I have a doctorate degree. It was given to me by an honorary decision by the board, I suppose, of Next Dimension University. Now, some people say, well, you didn't earn it because you didn't sit your big bootay in a class for three, four, five, six, seven, eight years. Well, you know what? I gave those eight years in the mission fields of Asia and in the mission fields of America, and therefore they have the right and the authority to decide who is actually worthy to receive these degrees because they've actually completed more than enough of the years, the hours, the tasks to earn this degree. Does that make sense? So I've been given an honorary doctorate degree of theology. Good to see the fillers here. Bless you guys. I've been bestowed, granted, given the honor of receiving an honorary degree of doctorate of theology. All right? And that happened, how old was I? I was like 27, 26, 27, 28. Praise God, I'm 33 now. Now, for a number of years, hear me now, because of that type of scrutiny, that type of thought, because of that type of uh, ideology, which is actually very common. Some people say that's not a real doctor degree, or you're not a real doctor, or blah, 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 blah. And because even my youthfulness, my age, for a number of years, I was quite ashamed and a bit shy about mentioning publicly that I have a doctor degree, that I've been granted, bestowed a doctor degree. Um, I think until I hit 30, when I hit 30, the Lord spoke to my spirit and said, Son, I gave this to you. And this is a legitimate, credible accreditation. This is a legitimate degree paper, and I bestowed it to you. So who are you not to use it? Who are you not to fully utilize the tool that I've entrusted to you? So bam. So therefore, I said, Okay, Lord, I humble myself. All right? I have to use this office i have to use this title of authority of 
that doctorate degree, I have to use that. So here we are today. Can I get an amen? So in this graduation season, number one, you've upgraded to a new level. Number two, praise God, it's a public promotion and celebration. Celebrate, celebrate. Number three, what it stands for is it is a credibility and an authority. Credibility and an authority. You've increased in authority as a trusted voice in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Number four, in this graduation season, somebody say hallelujah. It's actually a time of celebration. All right. Now, whenever you graduate, the Bible says give honor to where it's due. So as many people have graduated in the natural, I love seeing people with the big lays. And, you know, they got all these lays and all these shawls that are put on them. You, you can't even, you, all you see is a little bit of their face and they look like a Christmas tree, right? And some of your religious Karens are going to say, oh, Christmas tree, that's pagan. Ah, shaka baba, right? I'm just using that as an example. Get over it, right? So when... It's graduation, it's celebration. And that's why, look, the Lord is celebrating and honoring, right? The Lord is blessing and honoring in public. Look at the story of Joseph, Genesis 41. Genesis 41, the Bible says, I have set you all over the land and to honor you, to recognize you, for people to recognize you, I've given you my signet ring and I put garments and fine linen, gold chain, Blah, 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 etc., etc. Someone say celebration. So you better learn to celebrate. Because the first five months, it wasn't easy. I know, I'm sure. Ah, especially the last season. I'm sure it's been a bit difficult. Listen, I felt a little emo, you know, a little tired the last few weeks myself. Amen. But that's just because we're in that season of being pruned and processed for Pentecost, Shavuot, for the next level. So you better celebrate because the devil tried to kill you. The enemy tried to take you out, but he missed. He failed again. Come on. All right. He failed with his, all his little demonic little Lucy minions. Little Lucy for little Lucifer. Little Lucy failed again. So you better celebrate. You better thank and praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. And then number five, in this graduation season, there is a greater glory. Somebody say greater glory. There is a greater glory and a new mantle. Joseph was bestowed new garments. Fine linen. Somebody say fine. Fine linen. Amen. I believe some of you are going to get a makeover. You're going to get a... A Holy Ghost makeover. Some of you, you're going to get a whole new wardrobe. Amen. There is a new garment, a new wardrobe, a new mantle coming over you. Hallelujah. It's because, Jesus, you passed the test. You earned your stripes. You went down to Sheol, in a sense. You went down into the valley, and therefore you gained, you plundered, you took back, you found, you discovered what was in those realms of the valley. And because you went through the valley, therefore you're coming out with a greater light, a greater glory. Remember, what was the prophetic word that I released for this month of June? It's a June of Jubilee justice. Now, in the Hebrew calendar, and I'm going to end with this. In the Hebrew calendar, we're about to step into the month of Sivan, which is the month of Shavuot. Now, what happened in Shavuot Sivan? Moses went on top of Mount Sinai. Wow. The guy, the famous Hispanic singer who gave me this ring, and whose eye got healed, he's part of a group called like Del Monte de Sinai, which in Espanol and English means thus Mount Sinai. So, bam, incredible. You can't make that up. So Moses goes up to Mount Sinai, 40 days, 40 nights, and when he comes back down, he receives the Torah, the tablets of stone, the law of Moses, and guess what? His face beams, radiates with glory. But you, hear me now, we are not like Moses, where we veil ourselves, where we hide ourselves in shame. We're not like Moses, 
where we're trying to dim and dumb down our lights. Come on, some of you, you're always going to be too much for others. Those aren't your people. For some people, I'm, I'm too much. I'm too much. It's like, I'm telling you, David Herzog said this well, very well last night. But man, I make a lot of people manifest just my presence. Like, I may be in a good mood. But just when I talk to some people, it causes their demons to manifest. Like, it almost comes off like I'm confronting them because I'm a man of authority. My presence is authoritative. You know, I'm a lion. I'm not a sheep. Even though I'm wearing this nice baby blue color shirt, right? And so Moses came down and his face was shining, beaming, radiant with the glory of God. But he veiled himself, hid himself in shame because the people were afraid. The people were afraid. Come on, somebody. You, should, you will never have a man-pleasing spirit again. You will never deal, struggle with the fear of man again. Can I get an amen? Because you've graduated, God has granted, bestowed you a new garment mantle of greater glory. It's your season of upgrade. It's your season of graduation. Can I get an amen? I believe it's graduation season. Many of you have passed the test. And uh, I just want to encourage you all because I really believe the next three months, hear me, there's going to be such great release, blessing. Uh, it's Pentecost. It's Shavuot season. Yeah, we already celebrate Pentecost in the Gregorian Roman calendar. But in the Hebrew calendar, Shavuot is literally in, in next week. It's next week. Amen. So listen, I want to pray that in this Pentecost Shavuot season, what happened? They went in the upper room. Boom. They were clothed with power. They were clothed with power. And I'm going to end with that verse here. Praise the Lord. Because God's about to clothe you, robe you. He's going to mantle you. Hallelujah. With power from on high. Luke 24, 49. If you're with me today, say amen. And I want you to just begin to share this broadcast. You've been blessed today. Luke 24, 49. And behold, I send forth the promise of the Father upon you. But stay in Jerusalem. Tarry ye in the city until you're clothed with power from on high. You're about to be clothed, mantled. You're about to wear a new garment of glory. S somebody say amen. If you receive that today, say amen. L Lord, I thank you. For every single person, you're good to see you, brother Edward. God bless you. Father, I thank you for every single person watching. That truly it is graduation season. And may they celebrate. May we celebrate. Come on, you need to learn to celebrate. You need to learn to thank and praise God. Yeah, it may be difficult. You may not have much money in the bank, in your account. I get it. It's Bidenomics. But still, celebrate, thank, and praise God. Somebody say amen. Lift up your hand. Father, thank you for all of your children today that are watching, that are connected to this glory, to this broadcast. I ask you, bless them. Hallow be thy name. Hallow be thy name. In all the earth, Jesus, we love you. We praise you. We adore you. Glorify thy name in all the earth. Glorify thy name and glorify thy name. And glorify thy name in all the earth. Glorify your name, O Lord. Somebody say amen. People of God, as Dr. Pastor Bellum, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Truly is graduation season. Make sure you give it a heart, like, follow, share. Listen, in one hour's time, 7 p.m., we're going to be on the Zoom webinar I'm going to talk about walking in an open heaven. Walking in an open heaven. So my gosh, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see you. Make sure you register. It's free. Zoom webinar, come on. Get your blankies, your onesies. Get your microwave dinners ready. 
Amen. 7 p.m. Pacific Standard in exactly one hour from now. Can't wait to see you. And if you are not able to join the live, you want to watch the replay on YouTube, you must become a covenant member to access all of our Zoom webinars. In-depth teaching about the things of God. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lam. I love you. Bless you. Shalom. And celebrate because you have graduated. God bless.